Hello friends, welcome to the 51 episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have learned that uh, how to create custom Joomla toolbar icons in the back end. So, from long time I have not uploaded any video because uh, I was busy regarding my company project. So finally I got time. Now, between this I, re uh, I have received lot of requests regarding file upload in custom component so I was thinking that I should uh, create a new video for how to implement file upload in your custom component so today I will demonstrate how to implement file upload in your custom component so let's start um, so this is our back end and this is our front end and uh, like every day we use our component that com underscore open chat for testing so today uh, I will create a form in the front end where user can select file and they can upload okay so let's start so let's go to the front end components uh, our component is com underscore open chat so I'm not going to create any view okay just I'm implementing this functionality in the controller you guys already know the difference between controller and view etc so test file upload and by the way if you have any questions um, regarding this uh, I'm implementing all my code in the controller so you can ask me upload test okay let me echo something upload test area save go to the front end index.php question mark option equal to com underscore open chat ampersand task equal to upload test so here you can see upload test area so here we will create a form so let's create a form quickly HTML form form good now you can give a ID upload form you can give name not mandatory now this is mandatory in encoding type form data hyphen multipart so now will create a level please uh, select your photo and file selector type file name equal to my file that's it and finally one button input type equal to submit name equal to upload underscore button value equal to upload photo okay so let's go to the front end and refresh yeah here our form is displaying so now uh, we have to give a form action action you can give actions to this controller function or you can create different one so I'm going to create different one so handle upload data so function handle upload data anything name can be anything so echo form submitted now let's print die now action will be index.php option equal to com underscore open chat sorry and task equal to our that function name okay you can append 
echo j u r i root so let's save this and go to the front end refresh this page and now i will select the file so let's select the file open uh, okay we have not mentioned uh, the method that's why so let's go to the code and mention the method equal to post now currently default method is get that's why it is going through the URL here you can see my file so let's go back refresh this page and select one more time and click on upload so here you can see form data submitted so our this controller is function is calling successfully so let's uh, check what are the values are coming so all the um, file data is coming inside this array files so let's uh, see the structure of this array so we can give the p statement so that it's format correctly save and reload this one so it will post once again all the data array okay what i have written print underscore r sorry too many mistakes refresh this one recent so array refresh this select file and click upload nothing is coming what is the problem form enc type form data multipart input type file action post let me check the syntax uh, file upload html every time i forgot not working T A T R O N oh my yes hmm. actually file upload this one multi part form data oh my god form data multi part awesome save let's go to our component section and go back and refresh this one so let's try upload so here you can see all the data is coming now we can take care this data so we can check this error uh, if error is greater than 0 then uh, you can show message like uh, file upload maximum size more than maximum size mentioned in the INI file um, uh, not uploaded properly etc you will get lot of error message also you can uh, validate the extension MIME type etc everything so I'm not going to validate all the stuff so you can easily validate all the stuff using normal PHP like uh, from the file name you, you can easily get the extension and you can compare if the extension is uh, JPG or GIF or others if are uh, not within this extension you can show message that these extensions are not allowed it like this okay so if problem then uh, comment I will create one more tutorial to explain all the validation so let's capture this uh, data so dollar file file name equal to dollar underscore files now this one is my file and now here we have to get this one array okay this is actually you can see easily 2d two dimensional array my file name you can easily extract if you type my file type and temp name so actually the file is stored in the temp so we have to copy the file from the temp directory so at first we need to get the file temp path so file temp path equal to dollar underscore files array and now my my file and temp name so this is actually temp path so we got the file name and temp path now uh, we have to decide where we want to move this file okay so let's say uh, after uploading we want to move this file 
inside media open chat images folder okay let's create one more images and inside these images uploaded files so I have to generate the upload path so let's create upload path equal to this should be absolute path so you can get like this jpath site so this is the site URL and now inside site URL media then uh, com underscore open chat so I can show you the file um, where is this one so this is our Joomla install directory and now inside media um, open chat here is open chat inside images so here we will store inside uploaded files okay so I'm writing all the paths so open chat and now path is images and we want a new directory uploaded files like this and now we will give the image name so we have called um, this one is the image name so we can give here okay so we have generated the file path upload path so now we have to move this file to that uh, path so for this reason um, uh, you have to import two things that Joomla file folder system so j import Joomla file system dot file and folder I think so if you want to know about this file so you have to go like uh, libraries let me show you uh, libraries Joomla here you can see file system here file.php here you can learn that how the Joomla internally copy all the files um, and also how is generating the dynamic directory if you are mentioning path because this directory is not exist this file directory so Joomla automatically will create during the file move so these are handled by the directory and file library so now I will move the file so actually we will use jfile upload method so I will show you here must be present one upload yeah here you can say upload we have to mention source destination and stream so this one default so source and destination so let's try and um, if upload success it will return true or if not then false okay so here you can see if error you will return false so like if uh, uploaded successfully you can do something so like this way so j actually the um, this is file so j file j file and we have to call that function upload now we have to give source source that means temp path right so this copy this one and destinations means our uploaded path okay so give this one so this will um, like uh, copy the files so if you want to check like uploaded or not you can put if condition like if uploaded files then like here you can implement your logic your logic like insert into database or anything up to you what you want to implement okay you want to redirect to other page or anything so upload a success now here you can take another action so I'm just printing field so let's save this and try uh, let's go back refresh this page and click file upload so here you can see upload success let's go to the folder and check yeah here you can see uploaded files one directory has been created and inside this directory we can see the file name that's cool so in this way uh, you can implement upload in your component 
and uh, like uh, in this tutorial I have not mentioned any validation things so I think probably you know already how to implement the validation so and uh, you can see uh, that file name each time I'm uploading it is automatically re uh, replacing previous one so we can uh, append some text there um, like here so let's append some text big text so that it gets unique URL every time so one term time now I can give a hyphen or underscore so let's save this and try to upload the files so I'm selecting that again uploaded so let's go here you can see path so in this way you can change the file name also this is normally PHP things and you are learning Joomla so you are pretty much aware of PHP functions and again I am repeating that uh, here you have to do lot of validation like um, check upload error check file type allowed or not file size validation so etc you have to validate okay then after that you can implement this logic this is a simple logic for uploading files so hopefully um, you have understand how to implement um, file upload in your custom component and uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions suggestion please write comment below this video thank you have a good day